Good evening, Pokemon Go fans. Hello. Woo. I don't know about everybody else, but uh, this winter Christmas slash whatever event we're calling it has not been kind to me. Shiny-wise, anyway. Shiny-wise. All right, this is what we're looking at. My last shiny was three days ago. Piplup. Okay, he's Christmassy. Torchic? Seriously? 1221. Sandshrew? 1219. Look at the spread. Three days ago. Five days after that. It's like, come on, man. And I have been trying my tail off to try to get that little guy right there, Cub Chew, with the bow. And or a uh, Pikachu. Or uh, Deli Bird. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I got a couple of good cryogonals. Cryogonals. Uh, no hundos. I don't think it can be shiny. Uh, no, no shiny snovers. Uh, no shiny reg ice. Nope. Nothing going on. No shiny Meryl. No shiny Cub Juice. Nope. No shiny uh, seals. Seals are out there. No shiny Snorunts. So, hoping for a little little luck to change. It is Snover Spotlight Hour. So, I'm only going to video this for a little bit. We're not going to drag this out for uh, for the entire hour. I know uh, that's not what people want to see, but there we go. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, see, this little dude, he is tough. I mean, is he tough for everybody else? Uh, I've got plenty enough candy for him to... Uh, and uh, I've been stocking up my research that I've been getting with uh, with him in there as well, so... There it is. There's the 6 p.m. changeover, and we should be getting some overs. Right? There they are. Okay, we're looking for blue ones. We're looking for blue ones. Well, his arms will be blue anyway. So, as of right now, uh, I've only seen 494 snovers. Okay. And I've only caught 249 because they haven't been uh, shiny for a very long. Let's go ahead and do some shiny checks before we start catching these guys while they're spawning nice and uh, frequently here. There's no shiny there. There's two of them back to back there. I don't know if I can get to get his buddy. Let's see. Can I get him? All right. So no shinies so far. Okay. All right. I believe the bonus is two times uh, XP for evolving. So evolving any Pokemon, not just Snowboots. Okay. So what we're what we're looking for here is possible um, XL candies, and you're gonna get that with your larger CP um, catches because we could use the XL candy to uh, evolve um, a you know a Mega Obama Snow or. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Just lost my train of thought there. Sorry about that. This is unscripted. Well, live in my time. Pre-recorded in your time. Uh, yeah. Alright, dude. We're gonna give you one Pokeball chance. And we're, we've got way too much to see here. 
Way too much to see to be wasting my time with thee. Okay. The candy was 11.52. I'm not going to waste any pineapple berries on these guys. Uh, Mega Obama Snow is is nice, but not my Mega of preference. Okay. Yeah, I know you'd think it'd be easy to hit excellence and uh, rates on these guys, but they don't sit still for very long. And yeah, see, once you, once you line up that circle, they're coming at you. So, we're just going to do a little... Little taste of this, maybe to see if we get lucky. Mm, Y'all remember the Meowth Spotlight Hour? Very first one I, t I picked was the was the shiny. Doesn't get any better than that. Got it on film. It's out there. It's out there, man. In the ether. Yep, I am at home for this one. I am at home for this one. I didn't want to feel like going to sit in the... Uh, it could be in my car, but it's still without the car running. It's kind of chilly. All right, dude. Is that still a seven? No, it's a different one. Okay. Get some of those great shots in there. Probably should have a lucky egg on. I do need the XP for... That's the other thing is, I mean, these dudes do not go down very easy. So, I don't know. That, I don't think I have very many uh, lucky eggs. I'd rather save them for a bigger event, like January's uh, Community Day event. Our little green... Oh, that's that same dude. Our little green buddy, Machop. Yep, that's right, in case you haven't read your, your uh, little news feed. Machop is our buddy uh, for Community Day in January. We'll look that up here and get you a particular date or a specific date. There you go. Yeah, sure, bring a date to a Pokemon uh, Community Day. Yeah, there you go. What did he, what he keep, what, what, why does he keep changing this? Because I can and I like it. All right, let's see if we can spin over to this real quick. Okay. There he is. Oh, da, 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 da. January 16th, 2021. 21? What? Yep, next year. And, yeah. Okay, so uh, it is going to be another six hour event. Awesome. Glad they're not taking that away from us. I'm glad they're not taking that six hours away. I mean, I'll tell you what, that's, it's a heck of a grind. But back when we had only three hours for a community day, you had to really hustle if you were going to get more than, uh, more than ten shinies. So, if you were even that lucky. I mean, there were ones I would go out for and get five or six. You know, shoot, now we're bringing in 25 per, uh, per community day, you know. Yeah, I don't need that many shinies, but it's kind of nice to, to have. Man, this dude is just not going to give us that shiny. I have been collecting, yes, I've been catching these guys, trying to get the shinies. Man, I just, I cannot get a Christmas shiny. Ooh, you got a Piplup and a Torchic. Yeah, I like the Torchic. He's not Christmas. It's not one of the Christmas shinies, the Pikachu with the with the the ugly sweater. It's not the Cub Chew with the bow. It's not a Delibird with a bow. Um, yeah, 
I mean, I can't even get a snover. So, but you didn't tune in to, to listen to me gripe. You tuned in. We're going to get some dang shinies here. Dang shinies, man. All right. Let's see. What's going on here? All right. Who's not looking at us? That's how you can tell if you've checked these guys, but they're all looking at us. Are you the new one? Yep, you are. 78 CP. I haven't seen one that low. Okay. Easy to catch. Okay, thank you. Okay. No XL candies. How many XL candies do I have? 60. Wow. So I'm telling you, you usually only get one, uh, one XL candy per catch, so I have been doing my best. Yep, I believe you can only get the XL candies from Pokemon when you are past level 40 or 40 or 41, either way. Get to level 40, there's all kind of different perks. XL candies means you can, uh, as you get to level 10, you can only max you can only max out your your Pokemon to level 10 and and on on up the ladder. So when you get to level 40, your your Pokemon are maxed out. You cannot go any higher until this new changeover. And uh, yep. So now with XL candy, you can advance or level up your Pokemon all the way up to level four. Now, I think it's usually, it's it's uh, 269 XL candy for, that seems to be the norm for everything that I've seen so far. Um, so, I will go ahead and show you what I'm talking about here. Um, and it's a, it's a one in three chance that a Pokemon will give you an XL candy, and usually the higher their CP, uh, see, there you go, we did not get an XL candy, and that one's a 914, so, that's pretty awful, so we're still sitting at 61 XL candy, so, alright, 682... I am trying not to use my great and ultra balls. Uh, it's time to start saving up uh, for Community Day. And there's a couple other big events coming up. But uh, mostly I'm saving those Pokeballs for my Chops Community Day. I would suggest that you do the same. Okay, still at 61, so we did not get XL candy. Let's zoom back out there. Okay, so I am still, wow, four and a half million XP away from advancing to level 43. So it is a grind. And... Yeah, you know, like I said in the past videos, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry to do it. Um, I would say level forty-one and forty-two. If you've if you've got gold um, badges and and or because now they go up to platinum. So sometimes that's a requirement uh, to move up in a level is you have to have, um, I think the first one was something something really simple, like five platinum badges, and then the second one was ten platinum badges. So, um, yeah. So you probably have enough to, and then the, the little tasks are pretty simple, I and mean, then Catch 200 Pokemon, throw uh, throw 10 excellent throws, and I'm just some of the ones, uh, I, they're all in my videos there. 
But um, yeah, there's so many easy little little steps to get up. So uh, 42 came, pr went pretty fast. Came and went pretty fast. So yeah, so now I'm kind of stuck on the the XP. Uh, and of course, it's not going to get any easier uh, when when I uh, get past this level. So, as as I was saying, I am in no hurry. Yes, it's all well and grand to uh, to be this uh, this level, but yeah, I was so proud just to get the level forty. Man, all I wanted to do was be able to suggest uh, my own Pokestops. I have yet to do that because nothing around my house is historical or significant. But I've seen some pretty garbage uh, Pokestops, so I'm going to have to start doing that. So there's a whole long, lengthy process to suggest a Pokestop, you have to take a picture of it, and then you have to uh, write comments about it. Almost, almost like a, almost like a, you're in school or something like that. They want to give, they want you to give a description of it. how long has the place been there? Is it a public place? Is this or that? Da, da, this and that. It's like, geez, I'm Pete, really. I just want to take a picture of something and go, ooh, and then it gets uh, voted on by. Everybody else who is um, sort of in the loop of uh, suggesting Pokestops, um, I think anybody can go to the uh, the little website link uh, uh, that they give you, and you can vote on, you can type in your area, your city, your state, and you can see uh, which uh, stops have been recommended you know like people like myself or or somebody else possibly you um have suggested to be a pokestop and then if it gets a certain amount of votes or something like that then it uh goes up through the process and, and it could very well be um you have a better chance of it being in like a more rural kind of place where it's not like fully clustered, like in a city. Maybe I'm using the wrong, wrong rural part, but um, I would say the cities are pretty much clustered up. Um, so in my little neighborhood here, I mean, you know, the closest, closest park and stops are over there. So there's plenty of room between there and me that I could suggest Pokestops. So I don't think I would have any problems with it going through. I would like something really close to me so I could just kind of log on the day and go, hey, let's spin this Pokestop. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. But... The only thing closest to me is a, a little grocery store. And I don't know. I'm going to try to do like the, the cypress trees. I just I don't know about that. Yeah, it's PvP uh, possibility. So I might try these, uh, these, this row of cypress trees that I have here. And uh, see if I can't get it. It has to be a public area. So everybody has to have access to it. So I'm thinking it should work. You have to take a picture of it. And you submit um, a couple of pictures. And then just like they have this virtual uh, Pokestops. Where you have to scan the area. So you have to do that. You have to, you have to send them a, a 360 uh, video of the area to make sure that it's, you know, it's not obstructed by, um, you know, that it, people can get to it at all sides to make sure it's a nice, safe area. So there's, it, there's a pretty big process about it. 
So, I just want to go ahead and even say that I tried to submit one. And it'd be so fantastic if it, if it goes through. It'd be so fantastic. 256, check this dude. Not shiny, not shiny, not shiny. Alright. Alright, well, we're gonna check. Let's give it five more. Let's give it five more. This is Spotlight Hour. It happens every Tuesday. Every Tuesday between 6 and 7 p.m. Your local time. Um, and it always changes. In fact, I think that we already have the list of, uh, of Spotlight Hours for January. And uh, we'll go over that list real quick if you'd like. So, some interesting stuff coming up. So, this is the last Spotlight Hour of 2020. So, yeah. Uh, good riddance, but Pokemon Go has been very, very accommodating uh, and very nice to us uh, during this this epidemic. We've seen a lot of new changes. Um, the invention of the remote raid pass, um, the ability to um, have community days for six hours. I mean, that came this year. Um, the ability to hold and send more gifts, longer lasting incense, I mean, incense used to only last for 30 minutes. Now they last for an hour, and then during community days, they last for three hours. So, and then there's been a couple of events, you know, where they, they'll last for three hours. So, yeah. So, they have been very accommodating, uh, giving us you know, really cool events to, to keep you... Keep your mind off of, you know, like what, you know, troubles are going on in the world. I mean, if you, if you want to, you know, need to detach every once in a while, um, come on over to Pokemon Go or, hey, you know, your favorite, <coughs> excuse me, your favorite video game or whatever, you know, just, man, just detach every once in a while from the real world. I know it seems like a, like a a cop out but shoot man it beats it beats uh you know the, the 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 hard illegal stuff any day man you know break open your latest game and man just achieve something you know like hey you know, like, that's what i like about pokemon go like, man it's like today i want to get a shiny today i want to get a hundo Man, you just, like, keep on chugging away. I mean, it, it's, you know, in a way, it's like life lessons. Like, it's like, man, you really want something hard enough, go for it. And don't stop until you get there. I don't know why it, why it is in, uh, that we strive so hard in games. And then when it comes to real life, um, you know, we kind of... Uh, I'm never gonna achieve that. I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna be able to do this. And it's like I'm never, 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 ever, ever, never, ever. But in a game, shoot, man, you know, hey, you you want to play COD? Um, you know, it's like, hey, I'm, I'm I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. And then it's like you put the game down. You put the game away. You go to work, and it's like ah. Uh, uh, why can't every day be awesome? So, that's why I play my two favorite games. And, uh, you know, every once in a while, you know, yeah, you have to uh, be an adult every now and then. But it feels good to jump into my favorite games and, and just, you know, detach for a little while. All right, dude. All right, cool. I was gonna say this is this is your last hope here. All right, I think uh, what one more check. 
Sad to say, sad to say, we are not gonna get... Ah, oh, there he goes. So sorry, buddies. And fans, and likers, and subscribers. I appreciate you all. I mean, uh, my, my last video was that box break. Uh, where I bought uh, the Vivid... I know I called it Vintage. Uh, vintage Voltage, or something like that. Um, but Vivid Voltage, I, uh, bought a box of that, opened it live on my, uh, my end, uh, pre-recorded for your, your convenience on your side. So, there we go. Um, I got some decent, uh, pulls out of it. Uh, not what I wanted. I got, I was hoping for that chunk of chew. Or, uh, you know, something, something, uh, unfortunately, I think a lot of the pulls that we got out of there were Pokemon that are not in Pokemon Go. And, and you know, I've told you several times, I was never a big Pokemon fan. I never watched the cartoons. I never played the, the card game. Uh, the only time I bought Pokemon cards was to resell them. <laughs> You know, I made I made a good amount of money off of Pokemon Go in 1998. Um, I would go to Walmart. This is back when they had card shows and stuff that you could go to, like baseball card shows and stuff like that. You go to your, uh, the hotel or something like that, and there'd be a show or whatever, and you could uh, get a table. I would get a table for. For uh, 50 bucks and sit at my table and, and man, I'd just sell my baseball cards or sell Pokemon cards. And when uh, when Walmart started having, having uh, Pokemon cards, I would go and I would take the entire lot of them. Uh, this was 1998. I would take the entire batch that they had. And I would go to like three or four Walmarts in my area and put them all on layaway. I put them all on layaway, paid a little bit of time. It's like, okay, we have a show next month. All right, I know I've got to get these cards out of there. They were like $2.74 a pack or something like that. I mean, it was something like that. And I would go to, go to these, uh, these shows, sell them $4 a pack. And you know, just I would put I would put aside um, the the money that I the, um, once I doubled my price, I'd put that money in the bank, and whatever was left over, I'd go find another batch of Walmart and buy until till that was done. And then I would do the same thing. I'd go to the show, sell them four dollars a pack all day long. Double my money, take the extra, put it uh, put it toward new stock, and uh, then pretty soon after, like the third show, because Pokemon cards, when they first came out, were not very popular. There were only a few people that were like really heavy into like I want to collect this, um, but it was sort of an impulse. You you saw other you know if you went to these shows. Um, if you saw somebody buying a whole lot of this pack of baseball cards or football cards or whatever, then suddenly it was like, all right, you started a trend. So Pokemon was trendy. And uh, people started flocking over to my table and, and they're like, oh, hey, what is this? And I know it's going to be good. And of course... When, when people started following it, and oh man, wow, Charizard, 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 uh, then that was that that was the big hook. So then all of the other uh, guys who uh, who who had uh, tables at these shows had more money than me. They would start going to buy stuff from. You know, who knows where. They had their contacts where they could buy them direct from the company or something like that. But, um, yeah, I kind of I kind of flooded the, uh, the, the trade shows around here. I mean, not to brag, but I was one of, one of like, two people selling these things. 
to, to the point where these other vendors were coming to me, like, after the second show and telling, you know, and, and hey, man, I'll, I'll give you $200 for, every, for what you have left. And I was like, no, nope, not doing it. You know, I'm not, I didn't, I didn't want to sell out to some, to somebody who was going to, you know, try to, try to, you know, rip me off. So, no, so. I made I made a good bundle of money on that. Paid a lot of my car notes with uh, with the with the Pokemon money. I tell everybody, it's like shoot, Pokemon uh, almost bought me an entire car. Yep. Yep. Was, uh, what was it? It was a it was a two thousand uh, Mitsubishi Galant. I would use all of that money to pay off my car. Alright, clearly this dude does not want to be shiny for us here, so... We're gonna call it a, uh... Yeah, we're halfway through it, so... Um, I'll let you know in the next video, did we get the shiny Snover during Spotlight Hour, but... As of right now, 28 minutes into it, no, we did not. So, thanks for coming along with me, folks. I appreciate you all, you all, all you likers and subscribers, people who just watch my videos and haven't subscribed yet. Uh, remember, uh, subscribing is free. I will not show up on your doorstep with Girl Scout cookies, Pokemon cards, or harass you with with phone calls about your car's extended warranty. I will not do it. Um, it's just to help help my page uh, uh, get move along. And I uh, would really like to get to 100 at least. A um, 1,000 would be out of the question. But once I get to 1,000 subscribers, then I can start doing live videos and really putting some money behind this uh, this channel, um, I can I can invest in a camera. Finally, uh, I can invest in in editing software. I mean, I I could make this channel so much better, but it's not producing anything. So I, I don't want to throw money toward. Um, I don't want to say it's a bad investment because, like I said, during 2020, it's, this is when it started. This is what started for me. This was more of a, uh, a journal for me to kind of combat the isolation and lockdown and this, this whole COVID thing going on. So I would go and sit in my car because you weren't supposed to leave your house. God forbid you were going to walk out of your house or something like that. So I would go sit in my car at the little park, play the game for a little bit, record as I, as I was playing, trying to teach other people who may have, you know, this this game, you know, it, it's, it has really helped my sanity during the whole epidemic. I mean, from... Uh, I think March 8th is when my restaurant basically told us, um, we're closing. So here's your, here's your final paycheck. And, uh, we'll call you soon. And they finally called me in August. So that's April, May, June, July, August. Five months later, they wanted to me to go to the restaurant, help them clean things up, and then I didn't hear from them until almost September? Was it September? Yeah, saying, hey, we're going to open up the restaurant. And at that point, I had already started to... Uh, to job hunt well i've been job hunting the entire time and somebody finally called me back and it was a lot better than a restaurant gig let me tell you that so that's where i am now but 
Yep. Pokemon definitely helped me out big time. So, yep. So that's why I'm, I'm going to die hard for this game now. And that's it. So this is what put me on to Pokemon is really uh, me working at the restaurant, uh, the bartender. Um, you know, he was big into Pokemon. And when the game came out, he's like, hey, hey let's, let's do this together. And I'm like, sure, it's something to do. We can wander around the, the restaurant while, uh, while it was slow business or whatever and catch Pokemon. And we had, you know, hey, something to do. So, yep. And now, almost five years later. Yep. Almost five years later. Four and a half. Because I think, what, July 4th? July 3rd or 4th is the, uh, will be the fifth year anniversary. So, yeah. Cool stuff. So, I love the game. And yes, I have started to progress into, you know, I'm buying Pokemon collectibles. And, uh, yeah, because it's just, it's just something. It's, it's a whole new world. So, yep. Alright, with that being said, thank you likers and subscribers. And I will see you all in the next one. Um... Maybe I'll tune in for, I mean, there's, there's so much going on, but it's not been exciting. Where are the shinies? I'm not getting the shinies. So, nothing to, nothing to write home about. So, uh, I think our next uh, event's coming up Thursday. It's the, uh, the, it is the New Year's. So where you're gonna you're gonna be able to get uh, slow slow poke with 2020 glasses, he can be shiny, and when you evolve him, the glasses turn from 2020 to 2021 as he turns into slow bro. So that could be a good uh, good little video. So you may or may not see me unless something's exciting happen it happens between now and New Year's. Um, I hope y'all had a great Christmas or holiday, whatever, whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope y'all had a fantastic time. And if I don't see you, have a very happy new year. I hope, I hope next year is going to be better for us. I, uh, we're, uh, we're apparently still going to be dealing with this COVID BS, but I hope it gets better. I hope it gets better for us all real fast. So, say goodnight, Snover. Snover and me too said goodnight. And I thank y'all very much. Bye-bye.